Have you ever been on set trying to frame up a shot, but your director or client is just hovering over your shoulder, trying to get a look at your camera monitor, and you're like, whoa, social distancing. Here, just take this. No, Hollyland did not create the Mars 400S wireless video transmitter as a social distancing aid, but I needed a topical intro. But the truth is, it really can be useful to wirelessly transmit video and audio while you're on set without having to deal with long runs of HDMI and SDI cables. And you know what? It actually would be even more handy if you could send that wireless information to, say, a mobile device that you already had. But we'll get to that in a little bit. So just a disclaimer up front, Hollyland did send me this 400S system to try out, but this video is not sponsored and I'm not being paid. They just want to know my honest thoughts and opinions on it. And as always, I can say whatever I want. I like tacos. First and foremost, the Mars 400S is a wireless video transmission system like we're used to with a transmitter unit for your camera and a receiver unit on the other end for a monitor. So we're gonna really quickly run through its specs and features so that we can get into the really cool stuff that it can do. So as I said, the 400S comes with both a transmitter and a receiver unit, both of which can be powered directly via Sony MPF batteries or via a DC power port. The box includes one AC power cable to plug the unit in, one cold shoe adapter, and this nifty little adapter to relocate the quarter 20 mounting hole to the face of the unit. I did mention to Hollyland that I kind of wish there were two of these little adapters or relocator bits in the kit just because it would allow you to put one on both the receiver and the transmitter giving you a little bit more versatility for mounting and it seems like it would be something that wouldn't be too expensive to add an extra one into the kit on that note as well i also mentioned to them that i really wish it came with some sort of dtap powering cable for me dtap is the method that i'm most commonly using to power things on my camera rig and my wireless monitor so having at least one DTAP cable in there would be beneficial. For my previous Mars 300 video, I actually made my own DTAP cables, but there are also third-party options available online. It has both HDMI and SDI connections on both the transmitter and the receiver, giving you the flexibility to connect pretty much any camera and monitor combination that you may have. However, there's no pass-through on the transmitter, so it will need to be at the end of the line if you also have a monitor system set up on your camera. The 400S has a very bright and visible OLED screen that clearly shows all of the important information about its status and video transmission, including the connection strength to up to two receivers simultaneously. The unit can handle up to 1080p60, so you will need to downscale any 4K signals to 1080p before sending it to the transmitter. The clear line of sight range is 400 feet and the latency is 0.1 milliseconds. But keep in mind that HDMI signals just by their nature may have a little bit of additional latency coming from the camera. SDI connections shouldn't have that problem. But speaking of latency, there are actually three different modes built in to help combat interference and deal with latency. There's an image mode that will favor image quality over latency a speed mode that favors lower latency over image quality, and a balance mode that meets somewhere in the middle. This is actually a pretty cool little feature for you to decide which is more important for your purposes, that image quality or low latency. Now you've probably heard the saying that the best camera is the one that you have with you. So maybe the best monitor is the one that you have with you as well. And I bet you have one on you right now. Go ahead, check your pockets or check your bag. I bet you, you have a monitor right now. The Mars 400S's coolest party trick by far is its ability to send video signals to mobile devices using Wi-Fi and the Hollyview app. By launching the Hollyview app, connecting to the 400S Wi-Fi network, and either entering the device ID code on the screen or scanning the QR code on the back, you now have wireless video on your device. 
Now, not only does this app send wireless video and audio, but it actually has these monitoring tools built in, including stuff like waveform, histogram, focus peaking, zebras, frame guides, magnification, false color, monocolor, and even the ability to add in 3D LUTs. Wow, that one looks terrible. Now, each of these also have expanded functionality just by holding, and there's tons of customization inside this app. Now, the signal that your mobile devices are receiving are actually over Wi-Fi, so you may run into some increased latency in that video feed, but this is actually looking pretty good. The Mars 400S allows you to transmit to up to four mobile devices at the same time, and still also simultaneously transmit to one Mars 400S receiver unit, giving you the potential of transmitting to five different screens at once. Actually here right now, I'm transmitting not only to my phone, but also to my iPad over here and to the Mars 400S receiver on this monitor over here. Imagine having that on set where you can have your client connect their phone or iPad to be able to view and see the framing of the shot. Meanwhile, you can give a system like this to your focus puller where it has the dedicated low latency receiver on it so that they can pull focus. All of that coming from a single transmitter mounted on the camera. Now, obviously I'm an Apple guy. I've got, you know, iPhone, iPad, but I did look into it and the Hollyview app is also available on the Google Play Store for all of you non-iOS users out there. And that's it. The Mars 400S seems to take the reliability of that Mars wireless video transmission lineup and add a whole bunch of cool new features. I'm particularly excited about using that app a bit more and seeing how I can integrate that into my set workflow if we ever get to go back on set. <laughs> If you're interested in picking up a Mars 400S, it is currently at the time of this video listed at $649 US, and there is a link down in the description below. So make sure you stay safe out there, keep yourselves six feet apart, your cameras and your monitors up to 400 feet apart, and above all, make sure that you go ahead, like this video, click that subscribe button, and click that notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I have new content, reviews, live streams, whatever it may be, coming on the channel. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.